Jerry went to starting to talk about Delhi Bashiru again, but they'll be able to say. Hi guys and welcome to the video. You could like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces, and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when video go live. So when they've had this whole thing with talking about like fresh contact uh, contract update with uh, Delhi Bashiru. Now we all know he's at the. Uh, end of his contract at the end of the season. Now, apparently everything's been put on the back burner for now. So in terms of actual contract stuff, there isn't anything really to talk about. But it's interesting watching and listening to uh, Darren Moore. And it's he's trying to kind of figure out how to get him into the squad a little bit more. And he's also, like said, he thinks that he's... He's at the right club for him. He said his game is like, uh, where is it? Uh, I thought at uh, each way Kerry played field fight in determining the flow. And against Morecambe, he came on at half time and showed Kath what he's all about. Now, yes, it did show what he's all about, but sometimes he does go missing in game. But that'll improve when he gets older. He's only 21, remember. His game is like they got a lot of ability to open door. Really pleased he showed another contribution. His head's in the right place. And I said, said, I feel like this is the right club for him in terms of where his career is and hopefully can keep building. We've got the thing is, with Adeli Bashiru, you have got the situation situation where maybe he's gone to his agent and said let's see where they are come the end of the season because end of the season I could be a championship player and then be fine he, he could have gone to Blackpool and then got relegated who who look like they're going to get relegated and be a league one player again and be like all oh, right I've made a mistake here it's that whole thing I'm wondering if Delhi's actually gone let's see where the club is at the end of the season let's get them promoted let's get on with the job in hand and then let's just do that because if I can get on with the job in hand, I can sort my contract out right at the very end anyway. And I think that is actually quite smart and it shows a little bit of maturity from him if that is the case. That is like, let's just do it at the end of the season, get it done and dusted then. When everything's sorted, we know what's happened. Because if we go up first or second, we've got a long bit of the season where we can end the season. We can start hammering out all the contract things to people about where we want to be, who we want in, who we want to let go, kind of thing. We can start getting that all in place because we'll have enough time to do so. It won't be like going into a playoff situation where you get the playoff, then you've got to get your contract situation sorted quicker than otherwise before you can start getting players in. I think you've got a better opportunity here. And I'm, I'm confident, a little bit confident now that Delhi might actually sign a contract i don't know where that confidence is coming from uh personally i have no inside sources on this one but i personally think there's a maturity in him going i let me concentrate on my football and i'll sort out the contract at the end of the season because even if he doesn't sign there's going to be a lot of teams who will want to try and get him on a free but i think he's gonna let me sort my football out first let me do my football side of it and we can go into sorting out my contract at the end of it. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd be very intrigued by it. Uh, but Darren Moore's right. He's probably the right, the right club right now with the right manager, might I point out. 